channel. Today I have a nice, more natural of a glam look, but still very, very glam and beat face. I did only show you the eyes, so you can wear your face and eyebrows whatever way you like. But this is how I prefer, and I really like the way it turned out, and I hope you guys like it as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. To start this look off, I used the Kat Von D concealer. I prefer a concealer over eye primer just because I find that the eyeshadow doesn't move throughout the day. And then I packed on a white eyeshadow on top of that so that it was all set and ready for my eyeshadow colors. Going in with this single shadow from the Body Shop, I used this yellow eyeshadow color to map out where I wanted my cut crease and I also used it as a transition shade. Taking the 35B palette from Morphe, I took this orange color to start defining my crease and adding more color to the look. I went back in with the yellow color from earlier to blend the colors together. Blending is key, don't forget. I then went in with the Soft Orker Paint Pot by MAC to start cutting my crease. With cut creases, I do find that using a foundation powder or just your regular face powder to pack it on top of your concealer, I find that that just works best. Going back to that orange shade from earlier, I defined the crease even more to really make the cut crease pop. I also took a pink shade from the Morphe 35B palette to add on top of this crease look. I found that this just made the two colors blend together and I like the way it defined my crease. I then outlined my cut crease with a glitter liner from NYX. I really like this. This is like the best glitter liner I've ever found and it's awesome because it's from NYX and it's only about $6. time I further defined my crease with the orange and the pink shade. To save you guys some time I did my eyelashes and eyeliner off camera but then I went in with the same eyeshadow colors again doing the same process for my lower lash line. As for my lower lash line, I coated my lashes with the Excessive Lash by Makeup Forever. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys were wondering, because I didn't show you guys in the video, but um, my lips, I am wearing the Buxom, Buxom in Nude. This is their lip crayon, as well as Wet n Wild's lip gloss. I just got this today. And I absolutely love it, and it's just something that I think everyone should have. It was like $3, I think, or 2 something like that. But um, I just got it at CVS, and I really like it. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this tutorial again, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!